Welcome to our lecture online. With logarithmic functions, there's two very special points on the logarithmic graph that are very important to know and understand. And then there's a third concept as well that we need to look into. What are those two points? Well, the two points, if we graph a typical logarithmic function where the base is greater than 1, it looks like this. It goes to the x-axis when x equals 1, and it reaches a value for y when x equals b, the value of the base. And so, if we take the log of b with the log of, with base b of b, we get 1. If we take the log of, ba, of ba, with base b of 1, we get 0, and we'll get to this one later. So, notice that we have written the function in a more general form. Log of base b of x equals y, and so when we replace x by b, the log of base b of b, we get 1 for y, and that's what we have over here. When x equals b, y is equal to 1. And if log base b of x equals 1, we get y equals 0, and that's what we find over here. When x equals 1, y is equal to 0. And those are really important, two, two very important points. So the log b of b, the log b with base b of b is 1, and the log of base b of 1 is 0. Or the log with any base of 1 is 0, and the log of any base b of b is equal to 1. What about the log base b of 0? In other words, what happens when x becomes equal to 0? Well, we go back to the graph, and notice that the graph never quite reaches the y-axis. In other words, the function never reaches where x equals 0. It asymptotically goes to the y-axis, which means when x becomes 0, y will be infinitely negative infinity. So, essentially, when log base b of 0 is asked for, it would be a minus infinity, which of course is undefined. There is no such thing as minus infinity, and so we can simply call that undefined. You cannot take the log of 0. You can take the log of 1, that's equal to 0, and you can take the log of the base, which is equal to 1. So essentially, log of 0 is undefined, log of 1 is 0, and log of the base is equal to 1. And just remember that, because that comes in very handy in very many ways. And that is how it's done. Leave it to memory. Leave it to memory, yeah. Yeah, definitely you want to memorize that.